I am going to attack you too. <laughs> um, lot to talk about. First thing I should mention is this kind of uh, Mandela effect thing. I kept calling Kamigawa, and I, I kept calling it Neon City, and it's Neon Dynasty. When I saw a pack, I was like, what? Since when? What world am I living in? Um, so, I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to talk about my Bob Saget deck. That was my Samurai deck. I had, I said, after Bob Saget died, I was like, with the new set, I'm going to make a deck. And I don't care if it's good or not. And it's going to be called Bob Saget. And it ended up being a uh, red and uh, white deck. So I'm going to show off a little combo that already was in the deck. It, it was a question I had if these two samurais, Ishin and and uh, Reyu, uh, if they work together, and they do. And somebody on Reddit was talking about a 21, like doing 21 damage by your uh, fourth turn. And I'm going to show you how to do 27 instead. So, you need a mountain to come out. Most of this could be in your first hand. Uh, seven of the eight cards. Mountain comes out. Rabbit battery hits. It's haste, one, one. This, by the way, um, some of this damage may not go through or whatever. That is not what this is about. It's just about showing the possibility of doing 27 damage on your fourth turn. So this is your first hit for one. If this dies, um, it would be 26 damage. Um, but if it dies, that's good because uh, it really isn't essential and it will take out a chump blocker. In your second turn, you're going to put out a planes. And you're going to put out this guy. Uh, whenever a samurai or warrior you control attacks, gets plus one, plus one, uh, when he attacks, yeah, alone. So that's the big deal, to attacking alone, so only one of the guys getting through. So, if he's still alive, rabbit attacks again. And never again. Now you're gonna put a portal, ugly, ugly portal swamp into play. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get one of those fancy lands for black. Um, and you're gonna put in Ishin. Two heavens as one. He doubles all triggers. Um, yeah, if it, any attacking creature triggers. Well, that's going to be this guy, and since he's a 2-1 and he gets a plus 1, plus 1 when he attacks alone, he's actually going to be a 4-3 radical. And he will, again, after that, he will be important to be in play, so losing him would be a mistake. Uh, if you're able to attack, you should be able to attack. This is like your third turn. You should be able to attack with a 4-3 and be fine. Okay, so Ishin is now in play. Now Ishin is, uh, is going to be really important. So on your fourth turn, you're going to put out this planes. And you're going to put out this Afro Samurai. Uh, Ryu from Street Fighter, maybe? Um, tribute? Who knows? So what this guy does is when he attacks, he's going to do something amazing. It doesn't matter if he gets through or not, or if he gets through, which is who's gonna attack. Um, he's going to then uh, give you an additional combat phase and uh, untap, like that. So this is the one that's gonna be going through though, uh, doubling his thing, which was my question. Do you get two combat phases? Yes, you do. Well, that's great. So he's going to get th to attack three times. He'll be the only one that attacks. He'll get the double uh, plus one plus one. So he's going to attack in the first turn as a five six. 
that's probably going to happen. He'll untap. Um, and then he's going to do it again. Uh, because of his ability. Bop, he untaps again, and he'll be a... He'll be attacking as a 7-8, and then he'll attack as a 9-10. Because all this stuff is still on him and keeps coming on him. And cool. So the Bob Saga deck is pretty rad. Um... A lot of the cards that end up being a really big deal, like uh, Reign of Truth. This is a point. Don't ever put this card out um, alone. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Uh, if you get you can get a battery out or the monkey or something like that, then you really got something going on, um, and you're gonna win really fast. Uh, uh, but alone, this is would be the worst thing ever. Um, but man, yeah, I really like this set. I mean, if Lightning Helix is still fine, that's a good one to throw in. Throw a few of those in. Uh, Flame Discharges. The one that keeps on, you know, I just can't not do this. Uh, <laughs> This one should be taken out, but as it's a warrior, it gets all the samurai benefits. And it's... I mean, it comes in hitting for one, just like a rabbit. Uh, on the second turn, you're doing three. And yeah, he's dead by then, but... You know, and then he does another one, so he, he has the possibility of doing five for two. It's pretty good. And I threw in this dude, uh, this vampire, just, I put in tons of stuff that has abilities that he's gonna just, uh, produce blood tokens like crazy, uh, when he comes in. So you just draw the rest of your deck out. Oh, my last one. This is a really funny thing. So... I really like the idea that these guys start riding on each other. This is just a monkey on a rabbit. Um, seems like a whole lot of fun. First turn, you know. Probably best to throw the rabbit on the monkey. I mean, because you'll, with two red on the second turn, you'll be able to pull that off. Um, Chobits, man. It's Chobits. Mm -hmm.